Hello, Daddy's Workshop. How are you all doing? Everybody's good. So today we're going to go ahead and put up the towel rod. I went ahead and I grabbed this at my local Home Depot. It's about 12 bucks. Uh, my kids have been asking for one because as you can kind of see by their area, there really isn't anywhere for them to put a towel in here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop one right there and you'll see the tools that I have. I've got a hammer, I've got some drill bits, I've got a couple of drills. Now you don't need all that to do all this, this just makes things easier. I'm gonna drill a couple of holes um, with the drill bits. I'm then gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pop in uh, some of these uh, these plastic looking pieces that the screws will go into and they, these plastic pieces, forgive me, I forget what they're called. They expand in the wall and they kind of hold everything there. That way you don't always have to go into a stud. And then we're gonna we're gonna attach this guy, and that's gonna be that. So go ahead and join me, and you can see how I do this. It'll be it'll be pretty quick. All right, so this is our kit. We've got instructions. These are super helpful. Uh, we have the actual piece itself. And you'll notice right there, this little bolt right there. This is how we're gonna actually attach it to the the pieces that we're going to put in the wall and this right here is those pieces so we have the piece that it actually attaches to we've got these little plastic like grommets that go in the wall and then we have the screws right there that go into the little plastic grommets that go in the wall and that's pretty much it's pretty much it that's that's how easy the kit is to go ahead and and uh assemble now if you are a smart man you've already asked your wife where you want this to go um, mine is not here right now, so I'm just going to take it upon myself to put it up here. So this is kind of the spot that we have. So I'm going to stick it, start sticking it somewhere right in there. And what, uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just take this plate. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a hole in the wall. I'm going to start fastening this to the wall, but I'm going to use the actual plate itself to, um, tell me where the holes are going to go in here. So I'll take this piece and I'll... Put it probably like right there and then I'll take this piece and I'll pop it right there so it goes the other way and then I'll go ahead and I'll just put a hole in the wall and that'll be the end of that so another tip to talk about when you are doing these and figuring out which drill bit to use you want to go ahead and pick the one that it's just a little smaller than so I'm going to pick this guy right here as you can see it's a little bigger than that one but he's a pretty, almost the exact same size of that one. So we're gonna pull this guy out and we're gonna see how that works. You could also go ahead and look at the directions, but as you saw, I threw those away. All right, I drilled a hole. Congratulations. I'm now gonna take my piece, I'll pop it in here. I'm gonna take my hammer. That's pretty much it. And. So this is a Spec Ops hammer, just to let everybody know the reason I bought this is, this was like 35 bucks online, so it has this rubber cap. Okay, so it's got a framing style on the front, but then it has this little rubber cap that can go into the wall, doesn't hurt paint, doesn't hurt the wood. I thought it was really cool. I saw another woodworker using it. Um, Bourbon Moth Woodworking was, was who I actually saw using it, but I thought it was pretty awesome. So now we're going to take... Our next uh, item, we're going to pop this in here. We're slowly going to go ahead and start putting it into here. We're not going to go in all the way. We want to go in just enough so that we can then make a mark and see where it's going to go. We then go ahead and we take our screw, we put a little mark down there. We then pop that hole in there. We then put this guy in there. Then pop that hole in there. We put the screw back in here. We drill it back together. Make sure it's nice and lined. Don't go on it too hard. You don't want to go ahead and strip them out, so you'll notice my drills on a it's on one out of three, so it doesn't do that. And then at this point, with these little hooks, you'll see that there's little hooks on there, right here and right here. 
you always want this little bottom piece here to be there. This sits like this. Ah, guys, I forgive me. I gotta go undo that real quick. Then I will be right back. All right, everyone, so as you can see, this is the flathead uh, screwdriver hole. So I went ahead and got a flathead screwdriver that fits in there and has the ability to increase or decrease what we're looking at. If I can get it on the, there we go. See right there. Anyway, so we're gonna go all the way down to where we don't actually feel this anymore. And this goes on the bottom. So it's gonna go ahead and go in like this. It's gonna sit up here. Uh, it's just a little more sticking out. There we go. And then we're gonna take the screwdriver Oh, got nice and tight that's not really gonna move so now you can see how our piece looks it's gonna sit right there everything's gonna be great <laughs> 